Welcome to a, another review. Uh, this is actually my first review. I've done an unboxing of the all new Canon 70D. You can check that out on my channel. Uh, today we will be reviewing the uh, Rode Mic Shotgun Microphone. Uh, also, we will be doing a couple of tests uh, with it. Or I have only had this for a while and. Uh, we'll just see how this test goes. Uh, today we'll actually be doing like two scales of review. Uh, the actual durability, which is like the material and uh, what it's made of and all that stuff. We're not going to go into depth about it, but this is what we'll be talking about. And then of course the, uh, the mic itself, how it performs and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, welcome to a review from me. My name is Juan Herrera, and I'm part of the Wood A Dork Productions. I'm just plain. I'm part of the What A Dork Entertainment. Uh, what A Dork Productions was our past name, but now we are entertainment because we do film short films, video, photography, and a little bit of design. Uh, with that said, we are going to be reviewing this shotgun road mic. Right now, this is plugged in, so the noise you are hearing is actually from the road mic. So we're going to be doing a couple tests today. Uh, the first one will be uh, length and how far, and uh, a test I want to try out, and I'm experimenting with it on the left and right side to see if there's more. Uh, you got to pick up on the right or left side. So right now, as you can see, I'm holding the mic right underneath me, about a few inches away, and that's what it sounds like. Now, if I go about a foot away, uh, the mic is pointing to me. Now, we're going to do the same thing about a foot away. Uh, the mic is pointing to me. Notice the cord right here. I'm not trying to hide it. Uh, this is the sound you'd get. If it's about a foot away in the mic, you can kind of see on top. Uh, this is the kind of noise you'd get. Notice I'm not talking above to the mic, but I'm talking straight to the camera. So this is the kind of noise you'd get. And I don't know if you can hear the heater right above. It's like directly right above me. But that is... I'm just going to go ahead and leave that raw. I'm not going to edit no, no noise or no nothing out because I want you to get 100% raw audio. The reason for this is because I was recording and it seemed like it picked up more noise on one side than the other. And I didn't know if it's because the microphone wasn't directly on in the middle of the subject. But again, we're going to be testing that out right now because I don't even know until I actually edit this video. So right now the mic is about three feet away and it's on the right side and it's facing towards me and I'm talking directly to the camera. So it's coming straight at me. It's basically like a triangle. Boom, boom, boom. It's not, the mic is not facing towards the wall behind me, straight towards the wall. It's actually facing to me, but it's on the right side. Okay, this is the test for the left side. Again, it's three feet away. It's the same length, so there's no change in sound or anything. I'm talking like how I did on the right side. And this is the left side test. And again, it's facing towards me. It's not facing towards the wall, up or down. It's actually level to my mouth. Uh, it's not too low or too high, so it's coming straight this area right here. And I'm talking to the camera. And this is what it sounds like on when the mic is just on the left side. Welcome to the durability test, I guess. Again, this is the Rode shotgun microphone, and we're just going to look at it a little bit. So as you can tell, uh, you can take this off, and this is what the mic looks like. Uh, it's actually well built. It's not cheap plastic. Of course, coming from a Rode, uh, coming from Rode, their products are actually pretty good. Uh, even though this is my first uh, road purchase, 
but I've seen other people in their videos saying that Rode is good also. Uh, of course, this takes a 9 volt uh, battery. So, uh, you do have to watch your battery and make sure that when you're shooting you keep extra batteries just in case this dies. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And this right here is the the on switch. Again, don't forget to turn that on when you start filming because unlike me, I had to do this video three times. Okay? And then there is another switch that you can move up, which is, uh, it says 80 hertz, I guess, to turn up the uh, volume a little bit more. That way you get more noise, say if uh, somebody's too quiet or whatever. And it's just something you could probably do in, uh, in post. You can do in editing. Uh, this is the cord you'd plug it in. I was actually using an extender that way I can extend it. This really helps. This is a, like a I don't know what you'd call this but it helps for I guess if stuff bounces so if you hit the if the camera bounces it doesn't it yeah see it like doesn't hit like that and it messes up the noise so you get all that noise and it holds this of course this is the hot shoe cold shoe whatever hot shoe I'm still learning you put that mount on your camera uh, yeah but again in order for you the product to work you need to know how to use it not just to plug it in okay and that is actually all for our durability test for today on the Rode mic shotgun okay thanks for watching and if you like this video you can go ahead and like it subscribe because there's going to be more reviews on a bunch of items there's going to be hopefully some unboxings uh, and remember the way I do my reviews is in two categories which is the actual item itself like material uh, durability how it's built and stuff like that and then the actual uh, item itself how it works how it performs and everything okay and if you like one of these road mic shotguns, uh, you can find that in the description below. I'll link it. And thanks for watching. Hopefully 2014 is a big year for us uh, because we have a big film plan for this summer. If you'd like to find out more, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And if you'd like to get personal with me, you can follow my Instagram and Twitter also. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. This is my second time recording this video, and I just noticed, which is a good lesson, uh, that the mic, green, was not on the whole time and I just wasted 20 minutes of my time doing this test and I just realized that this mic was not on so it was not giving the feedback that it was supposed to. I'm going to be shooting again and this will be my third time shooting this video because I don't know how to check stuff. The first time was because the mic, the road mic wasn't even on because I forgot. And this time it was because uh, it was never plugged in. So yeah, let's uh, do this for a third time.